Hello everyone, this is Dark Deity. This is a voiceover part I have to do because my microphone messed up in the very beginning of this recording. In Dustwater, Link and Bianca find enough willing recruits to fill their requirements. Irving and his friends were sent to escort one of the final recruits to see it as she gathers her things. While they wait in the inn, a fierce assault from the bandits come over the town. The four from Brookstead, along with their new friend C and Alice, hold the bandits off from the inn. Now they plan to follow the trail to ambush the bandits on their own ground. This group had been troubling Dustwater for months, and in Lincoln's eyes, there's no question that something must be done. We'll need to make camp for the night, no sense laying an ambush coming straight from a fight. Couldn't agree more, I have some weapon maintenance I need to take care of as well. Always rushing off to your next errand, Irving. I'm looking forward to kicking back and having a nice rest before we plague in into moral peril again. Mortal peril again. I'll catch up with you. It won't take long to keep my weapons sustained. Irving, I've been around if you need help. Garrick, don't worry, don't come by my tent and pester me with useless questions. Useless? Just because you don't see the use doesn't mean there there isn't one. As your commanding officer, that's exactly what it means. I don't have the patience for it tonight. Oh, alright. I'll go pester C or Alice instead. Hmm, you do that. Uh, like I said, so the microphone messed up, and I, I do, I'm going to have to do a couple of voiceovers on these, but uh, I did have a lot of these voiceovers from my original gameplay, because I caught it after so long, so you just have to stick with me trying to read it at the same time. You should be very proud of your patriotism, Sia. Huh? What do you mean? You seem quite eager to enlist. I was the same way when I joined the academy. I'm eager to get out of dust water, I can tell you that. Really? I didn't see anything wrong with it. And you were there how long? Maybe a couple hours? Yeah, and you were already attacked by bandits. We were... That, hap that happens often here? Not usually, but when it's not bandits, it's something else. And you know what dust water never is? What's that? A tourist destination. Ah, I see. With the exemption of recruitment tours, of course. That's right. When a warrior gets desperate enough, the crown reaches its hand into dust water. Well, you're certainly put it behind you now, but the road ahead promises both change and challenge. I like a good challenge. Then you'll be good to have around. I always am. It's like two or three of these I did. Ugh. So you're the one who knows how to have fun around here, huh? You could say that, although count me out if your definition of fun is to listen to an army on a whim. Boo. Really? You can't act like this is the most fun you've ever had. Who let this guy on stage? Boo. What do you expect? You pull my arm and I'll tell a funny joke? I'm trying to relax here. Come here then. I'm gonna pull your arm. That was an invitation, see. I go places I'm not invited all the time. It's fun. Guess that's one thing we have in common. Maybe let's keep it at one, huh? Alright, spill the beans, mister. Why are you so beastly to be friends with me? Have you considered that you're just not as fun as you think you are? Nope, you're hiding something and I want to know what it is. Tell me. Oh jeez, is that Lincoln telling us we need to get along? A shame. I was really enjoying this conversation. Hold it right there. Tell me. Does it not bother you that everyone expe expects us to be friends? I don't want everyone to just think of me as a carefree one. No, it doesn't bother me. Maybe it should be do. Maybe do less worrying about that. There's things and bit more scheming on how you're going to live and do this. Wow, I butchered that sentence like crazy. Good luck getting Lincoln to ex express emotions. I think it's out of my range. Oh. So, I just discovered that my microphone was not on. So, 
I have like two videos I recorded that I don't have a microphone. Fun. Here we are, Elle, on a grand adventure together like I always said we would be. First, your version of always has a rather short definition. Second, this grand adventure came on a whim of yours, like everything else we do. Okay, let's do what you want to do, then if this is such a burden. Hmm, let me think about that. Maybe it would help if we weren't dedicated to a cause from which we might be executed for abandoning. See, no good ideas. Ever. That's why I make the decisions on what to do well, and what we do. I think that's I think that's probably a massive oversimplification of what we can roll with if you want. This is fun. Yay, I get what I want. Was it ever in question? Of course not. Really though, if you want to dodge out and make a run for Kermont, I'm all in. I don't want to drag you into something you're uncomfortable with. Oh, give it up. It's fine. Just wish we had discussed it beforehand. But next time I feel like I'm going to make a ridiculous, compulsive decision, you think I should ask first? You can be my emotional touchstone. Do you? I think you should ask me first. Do you ever listen to yourself? You're just ridiculous. Come on. So, that's a yes, right? Yes, of course, I think that. Maybe then we wouldn't be stuck fighting in an unjust war for a nation we care nothing for. Hey, now, watch the, watch the use of we here. I grew up in Delia. You grew up in Duskwater. The king of Delia never gave the slightest riff of for you, your family, or your town. Well, pardon me for sticking by century-old culture traditions of identifying with the place I live. Very funny. I am very annoyed. We've come a long way since I last stumbled into you and Marine in the sparring fields. Well done, Alvin. Thanks, I've been training a lot. I'm sure you have. There's no shortcut to excellence. Well, you can always get lucky. Not that and you can just as easily get unlucky. It's better not to rely on luck. Sure? Seems to work alright for Garrick. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> He would have he would have you believe that, but trust me, it doesn't work as well as it seems. We definitely got lucky getting assigned to Sterling like that. No kidding. I'm with you there. That was unexpected. Mm. <clears throat> so you didn't even tell you he was coming? Nope. I was completely surprised. It's a shame he couldn't stay with us longer. Yeah, I can't believe we actually beat him. There should be some kind of reward Not for that. Quite. Well, we had an advantage in numbers, don't forget. Uh -huh. What about all the other challengers? Sterling. They were hardly comparable to Sterling. I guess that's true. Besides, I'm sure he had to, subs to spend all of his non-lethal techniques. That probably all he was learning leaning in the army. <coughs> learning in the army. Aww. So you don't think I could have beat him? You mean if it was just the two of you? Yeah, just us. <laughs> Alden, I never accuse you of setting an unambitious goals with some more training, possibly. Perhaps you could have beaten me, him. Then I'll keep at it until I'm strong enough to make history myself. Can't go wrong with that. A lot of conversations. Ugh. It's also strange, Irving. Every time I think back to the last days in Book Rookstead, it feels like a dream. Mm. I'm a bit surprised to hear you say that. Between the four of us, at least you were expecting to graduate. <laughs> Yes, but not like this. I've never seen Master Glan that distraught before. He's usually so composed, like he's perfectly in control. And his face never changed, because the characters' faces don't change in this game. That's the nature of war. It strips even the powerful of their control. Galleon knew that's best, that best of all. He's the one who taught it to us in the first place. I think he's learning a lesson again himself. That may be. At least I don't have to wait around another year for you and Garrick to catch up to me. I mean, I know you've been eager to get out of there ever since you enrolled. Seems like you're getting a wish. Definitely look forward to stepping into this, onto the stage and making an actual, actual impact. I've spent my entire life up till now in the audience. That's called having a childhood, Irving. Well, I guess some people are just born to be certain to do certain things. I'm grateful for the chance to live out my calling. It'll be all right. I know you'll make the academy proud in your family, though I'll admit your brother set the bar pretty high. All the more reason not to take my eyes eyes off at move eyes off it at for a moment. Ambition has its place, don't forget. It doesn't hurt to take a look at your surroundings now and then. As long as it doesn't slow me down. <sighs> 
I think you could afford to slow down a little. Are my cinders? I'm still not moving fast really enough. So? Oh well, maybe you'll understand what I mean someday. When I'm your age, perhaps, so in about a year? You might be surprised, Irving. A lot can happen in a year. See, Garrick, I did tell you your pat you'll you would will pass our trials. And with fly colors too, though I don't remember you mentioning anything about skipping a grade. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Even your father was surprised by that. That will take some adjusting for him. We're gushing control over his little corner of the world. Well, don't think our early graduation excuses your debts. You still owe me a meal and a cold drink at King's Corp Cornucopia. I'm generally unsure if you're saying that because you're a man of your word or exceedingly cheap. Huh. Are those mutual exclusive? It doesn't seem like it. Joke. King's Cornucopia. That place is so gar garish. Couldn't you have chosen, I don't know, literally anywhere else? Hmm. You just don't want to see Claudia again. Yes, and I'm sure you find it quite amusing to catch me order, watch me order a drink with my eyes fixed on my feet. I didn't say that. No, but you were thinking it. Hmm. Claudia, I suppose she'll be staying behind the brookstead. After all, business will be down. I do hope she fares all right. <clears throat> Sounds like you're learning to show a little empathy. Hardly. Rest assured, I'm incapable of such of that as ever. <laughs> Garrick, the cold-blooded sharpshooter. I can hardly say it without trembling. That's me. You know, with all the chaos of our hasty recruitment, I'm glad, quite glad we ended up in the same battle group. <laughs> I'll die border otherwise. Now at least I'll get to die of something interesting. But not anytime soon, if I can help it. Then let's hope you can, my friend. Wouldn't be the first time I've saved your life. Careful now, that's a river that runs both ways. I wasn't aware rivers did that. This one does. You made a noble choice to serve your people, Elias. Interesting to say that I don't feel as though I had much of a choice at all. Was Leakin's speech so compelling? No, and no need to tell him that I said that. I said that after, but after everything I've seen, see the, seen and see through, I couldn't watch her get thrown to the dog if the wind was some king. Ah, I understand. But yours is a different story, I yes. imagine? Yes, it was a long time dream of mine to serve the crown, like my brother before me. I see. Have you been at this for a while then? World combat? No, but not any longer than you. Oh, that's promising news. I have trained, though, quite extensively, and Lincoln and Bianca are experienced themselves. They're likely in the best of hands as far as new recruits go. That's true, that is comfort. Don't worry. One thing I wouldn't do is intentionally lie to you about something like that, Elias. I'll trust your word on that. So many more. Maybe it won't be too bad. I just. I'll then come here, your hat's falling off. Ugh. Just leave it alone. There, that's better. Happy now? Alden. Don't be rude. Are you hungry? Did you pack enough beans? Uh. I'm fine, Marine. Really. You're so fussy sometimes. I know, I'm sorry. It's just that all of this must be so new for you. Training for this was the whole point of the academy. But you're to have three more years to do it. Oh, I'm sure you miss your friends terribly. They were all recruited too. Hmm. That's right. I almost forgot about that. <laughs> At least this way we get to stay together. <laughs> Very true. I was worried what you might get up to without me stopping you from setting all the buildings aflame. Marion, you're doing it again. <sighs> Sorry. I'm just worried about you, Alden. You're facing all kinds of new dangers every day. Which reminds me, stay close to me in battle, alright? If anything goes wrong, I can heal you. If you go too far, I can't guarantee you'll be safe. Alden, did you hear what I said? Yes, Marine, stay close to you in battle. Alright, good. Hey, little man. Hope you're feeling good about that trial. I think we just might have set a record after all. You really think so? Hmm. It's possible. I'm sure he wouldn't admit it, but from the look on his face, I'll wager you managed to impress my father, too. That's more than I can say for myself. Wow. Headmaster Glenn? Wow. <laughs> Yep, Headmaster Glenn. Still sounds weird when people say that. Why? Because to you he's just dead? Sure, let's run with that. 
Does he act differently at home than he does at the academy? Yes, quite. <laughs> I thought he probably had a soft side. He's much worse. Oh. Well, what do you know? Nevertheless, we've managed to narrowly escape his clutches. Bit of an early graduation for you. Definitely wasn't expecting that. Yes, well, life's full of surprises. Good for you to learn that lesson early. I think Headmaster Glenn used to say something like that. Yeah, the one who's always prepared is never taken by surprise. Gods, I hope I'm not starting to sound like him. As a rather con con convincing Glenn impersonation, though, Alden. Terrifying, so, in fact. Thanks. Hopefully this last conversation. Garrick, hello, everything's been happening so fast. I don't think I've had the chance to thank you for helping me with my trials. Really no something. need. It was a privilege to see things through to the Come end on. for you. Not just for me, but for all of us. And not even really the end, just to start of a new beginnings. That's why they all call it commitment. I always wondered about that. Really? really? <laughs> no, I never gave it a second thought. <laughs> oh, Garrick. I'm sure you're a bit anxious about Alden. He's quite young after all. And that's not even half of it. At least it'll be close when I can keep an eye on him. He'll be in good hands then. And if his performance at your trial was any indication, he definitely shows promise. He's very gifted, and that's for sure. He just needs some direction. Well, you usually provide that whatever your... Wow. Pro provide that with either your reception once it repeat words. Hmm. Am I really that bossy? <laughs> Not with most people, no. Just with you? A bit, perhaps. It'll be all right. Yeah, well maybe you could use it. Ever give that a second thought? Hardly. Can't say I have. Yay, done with all that. Okay. I have. Hmm. I have one token. Okay. Weapon tokens. Okay, we can buy more weapon tokens. Uh, let us upgrade. Upgrade short swords. I have some crit. Powerful spell really does. It doesn't increase the accuracy, it just increases damage. Uh, hmm. So that increases that by a lot. Do, do, do. I think crits are the best to do, do in accuracy. Just up ahead. Just up ahead. Yeah, just up ahead here. This is it. Positions, everyone. Let's make short work of the crim these criminals. Just a moment, darling. I am out of breath. Maybe if you listen to me instead of stuffing your face full of biscuits at the palace. It's not the biscuits, dear. I assure you. It's all this gold. Couldn't those bankers have spared us an ass or two? Or, may or perhaps a, body a few bodyguards to protect it? They're much too miserly for that. Besides, the king keeps these roads in good shape for travelers like us. 
Drivers like you have and you mind to leave in good shape. You best be handing over your valuables. Nice and easy. I like to take a look at this gold. Really? Take a look at this low life. The fight you want, you'll have it. I re reckon that the other prisoners could use a bit of company. Gosh, there's a lot of enemies. They all pretty much level five. That's nice to know. I got level five and level six. Thought you'd never ask. Seriously. There, attack. These guys are great at missing. So many of them. Gosh. One step at a time. Your end approaches. I'm used to playing Fire Emblem, but this is a ridiculous amount of enemies. Give them no quarter. Sword grows lighter with every swing. Okay, that's what that. Hmm.
Fifty-nine percent, dude. That sucks. I just realized that. Expectations. Okay. Kill him again. We're gonna kill. Seven, twenty-five. So we got Stay with me. My hard work is paying off. Here. Let's do it. Train toys over this here. Frank, and yeah, there's still a 7% chance of hitting. This should be fun. I was gonna like doing that.
Let's pick up, this is a good chance of hitting him. Your end approaches. Didn't give him much of a chance, huh? One step at a time. That's a cool. Didn't give him much of a chance, huh? Stole my kill. I'll take point. Tea. Oh, the boss came straight to me. Okay. I wasn't I wasn't expecting that. This is probably the best part where I, I, I rush. Thank you. 
protect a poor defenseless child. No damage. At that moment, he knew if he fucked up. Oh, so... I guess I'll take them off if possible. Oh, the war bill. <laughs> it's actually going to be 95 for that. Meeting expectations. You can actually do some work. This guy. Yeah. Shoot, I was hoping that was going to be great. Fine by me. You kill him. Somebody. Leave them for me. My sword grows lighter with every swing. Can you hit at close range? You can hit at close range. Let me just make sure you kill him. Let's see this She's gonna get attacked a lot.
for me. What would be? It's rude to stare. <laughs> <coughs> Didn't give him much of a chance, huh? Just a that. In position. Amazingly. Found out why I'm tired. I'm just glad it's over. Uh, Spears had the MVP here. Look here, this one seems to have been carrying a map for some time. Yes, it's got a couple ambush sites marked, and several paths leading back to a place called Drunken Weld Manor. What kind of amateur crime lord lets a henchman run about with a map of their secret hideout? It's rather crudely drawn. I wouldn't be surprised if the bloke made it himself. Well, let's hope he has a better cartography. <laughs> he was a better cartographer than a bandit. Tell me, Alias. Do you know anything about anything of this place? Not specifically. The Draken Weld family was one quite influential in Dustwater, and partly responsible for its founding as a mining town. Just over the hill there. What happened to them? What always does. One bad air and a whole lot of empty coffers. If it's truly a noble manor, it will be well fortified. It's just taking the afternoon to prepare. The cover of night might be just the advantage we need. Good man, it's refreshing to be among professionals. The training serves you well. At least all those drills, wiping windows, are finally starting to make sense. Speak for yourself. On the chapter 4, on the next video.